op 2406-14-6. In Trenarus, local agents working for the intelligence staff of 1st Battalion, Trenarus 4th Separate Light Mountain Rifle Brigade, reported that a separatist artillery battery had received a large shipment of high explosive shells and were making preparations to fire, indicating that a major separatist operation was about to begin. After reviewing agents' reports and electronic intercepts, it was discovered that a large separatist mixed rifle force was preparing to advance on the village of Dolina. Dolina sits inside a valley that runs east to west, astride a major road that leads to Solnichny to the east. Intelligence staff determined that the separatists were attempting to capture and maintain control over the road by capturing the village of Dolina. A light infantry task force consisting of four light rifle squads and two BRDM scout cars marched on the village overland. Second and third squad on their approach march encountered a small separatist a patrol approximately one kilometer north of Pusta, but drove them back. The separatists launched an artillery barrage used as a blocking element for any potential approaching forces. By the time the task force reached the village, the barrage was lifted and consequently caused no damage. The tactical plan for the defense of Dolina was for three rifle squads to physically occupy the village, with Scout 1 BRDM providing heavy machine gun fire on the eastern edge of the village, and Command Squad and Scout 2 covering the western and northwestern approaches to the village. Additionally, an SU-25 ground interdiction fighter and an MI-24 gunship would provide air support for the defensive operation. Enemy ground forces arrived north of Dolina, despite their constant pounding by friendly air support. The Sukhoi was ordered well to the north to hunt for inbound enemy vehicles, while Air Support 1, the gunship, made constant attacks against approaching enemy vehicles and infantry near the village. A squad of Wagner Group operators arrived at the northwestern edge of the village, but came under rifle and heavy machine gun fire from Command Squad and Scout 2 BRDM. Similarly, a Russian militia unit attacked the northeastern edge of the village. These initial attacks were driven back after a counterattack launched by 4th Squad Commander. Air Support 1 continued to attack these forces, preventing them from entering the village. Despite these successes, 4th Squad suffered heavy casualties and was subsequently withdrawn. A recently arrived reinforcing rifle squad took up their positions. A new squad of Wagner Group operators arrived on the northwestern edge of the village and attempted to use cover on the northern slope facing the village to advance, but they were driven back by the combination of rifle fire and heavy machine gun fire. Some enemy vehicles managed to make it into town, but they were stopped and destroyed. Towards the end of the engagement, the task force commander determined that the separatist forces had suffered sufficient damage as to be unable to take and hold the village. The commander ordered the task force to withdraw and return to base. Losses were moderate. Second squad lost three, third squad lost four, and 4th Squad lost 5. Scout 2 BRDM was destroyed, as was the gunship. Field counts of enemy losses included 5 technicals and 1 BMP IFV. Battalion operation staff indicated through a separate report that the intelligence assessment by battalion intelligence staff was very accurate and timely.